One of the best attended events at the Cattle Industry Convention is always the Cattle Facts Outlook Seminar. It's a chance to hear what the experts think about the factors driving the markets and what we can expect for the rest of the year. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Russell Nemitz joins us with a recap of this can't miss event. Well, as always, it was standing room only at the Cattle Facts Market Outlook program here at the Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA trade show this year in Nashville, Tennessee. And with us today is Cattle Facts Chief Executive Officer Randy Block. And Randy, uh, let's start with the top. Let's talk about beef demand and where we're at with beef demand and then trickle it down to your guys' market outlook for cattle producers in 2022 and beyond. Well, you got to be really pleased with beef demand. With everything we've been through with COVID, again, originally shutting down all these restaurants and losing 50% of our demand historically has come from restaurant businesses. So retailers responded, especially in 2020, and then opened these restaurants back up in 2021, refilling that pipeline, seeing people wanting to get back out and, and eat and enjoy. Demand's been on a run. Again, we were at a 33 year high as where we are year to date. That's pretty powerful. That's $250 a head improvement in beef demand that we've seen in here over the course of the last uh, decade and a half. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, all things considered, that is a really powerful testament. Let's talk about your market outlook now for 2022 and beyond because you guys, your whole team gave some very positive news at your market outlook program here in Nashville, uh, looking like higher prices in the near future. The stage has been set for higher prices for well over a year. It's there. We've had demand at these kind of levels. Again, we're at our peak in supplies now. That supply peak was pushed back a year because of the COVID backlog. Supplies have peaked. They're going to continue to get smaller over the course of the next three years. Again, fewer animals to harvest, smaller production, smaller per capita beef supplies. With this kind of demand, when supply is down and demand is here, prices are going to go up. And we think they're going to have a pretty significant move here over the next 12 months. Let's talk about what's happening in the western half of America, the Northern Plains, Pacific Northwest, and of course the extreme west. I mean, just severe drought, which is having and will have uh, an effect on cow numbers, about a third of America's cow numbers, in fact. And how, talk about that and how that's playing a role in these higher prices that are, are coming our way. Well, it's been devastating for our producers in the West and in the Northern Plains to go through what they're going through and, you know, no grazing uh, resources available. Again, thank goodness we'd had a few good years before that and a little over leftover feed, but we're really moving through the hay supplies now. Stocks are down, prices are sky high, so a lot of folks are being forced to pare down the size of their herds, which is is very difficult decisions for folks when they spend as much time making those breeding decisions as they do. But Dr. Douglas was a little more optimistic. By the time we get to 2022, we could start to see a little more of an El Nino weather pattern that would start to, to show up, which I think has to give us some long-term optimism of, of the overall weather situation here in the U.S. in total. Yeah, absolutely. As we kind of wind down, let's talk about some of those prices uh, that you showcased here in Nashville. Walk us through like where you think fed cattle are going to be, uh, some of those calf prices uh, in 2022, and, and maybe feeder cattle. Well, I think you, as you look at the fed cattle market this next year, we're going to end up averaging close to 120 this year. Fed cattle prices should average closer to 135 next year, get, get as high as 145 or 150 at the peak. Uh, during the year. Calf prices, I think you need to expect that calf prices are going to spend a lot more time up around $2. We could see them trade above that as we get into the peak of the year in 2022. number of our summer videos and, and that activity, well, there will be good optimism. And again, the key thing I think for producers to understand is the demand is already there. I mean, we have the profitability in our system today. It's just reallocating that profitability to some degree. So this is not a big reach from an outlook standpoint. It's just the money is already in the system.
Well, we appreciate you uh, sharing some of that information and for sharing some very positive news at this year's Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show. Again, Randy Block, Chief Executive Officer at Cattle Facts. By the way, today Dr. Art Douglas announced his retirement after a long and prestigious career at Cattle Facts. And with a very special message, here's Dr. Art Douglas himself. I live in southern Arizona in cattle country right now and I'm happy as a lark, but I do want to say these 45 years, I enjoy weather, but I have also enjoyed talking to you folks, knowing that you guys are the true stewards of this environment in the United States and I really applaud you for the great job you're doing on your ranches. If we didn't have ranches, we wouldn't have the open spaces that we have across America. And, and I hope it stays that way in the U.S. But it's been great. I wish you guys a lot of luck. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.